we have another tragedy. Ugh. It's so just I can't. Okay, y'all. It's a new day. Oh my. <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all, welcome back to the Curly Carter YouTube channel. I am Carter. If you are new around here, I talk all things luxury and how to make your closet into an investment portfolio. So if that is a bit of you, pretty please subscribe. And while you're down there, like this video because it really helps out a brand new channel like mine. Today, we have another tragedy. Ugh. It's so I can't. Guys, listen, listen. I don't even know how this happened, but it was tragic. I'm in London, right? I am at E&L, Ellen, Ellen E, whatever. The little, the, like the famous little cafe where you get like, you know, cutesy little Instagrammable drinks, right? And I'm thriving, checking out. All of a sudden, I feel my earring drop from my ear. This one, this one right here. You look how pretty? Freaking obsessed with this earring. They're so hard to find. I think it's a 2019. B. Yeah, that's what it is, right? I wear them all the time. And I'm like, oh! I find it on the floor. And then I'm like, why did it fall? The post literally broke off. Do you see this? Look at that. Do you see that right now? Outraged. Angry. God, I need another vocab word. What's another one? Vicious? No. The... I can't think I'm so upset. Anyways, the point is this has dropped one other time, right? And then it bent a little bit. Well, apparently it bent a little too far. And as it kind of bent back in place and I put it in my ear, it weakened and it snapped right off. Here's the deal. Well, these are no longer plated in 24 karat gold and you can only get something soldered on to like a true metal, gold, silver, etc. I don't even know that they can even solder it on even if it was coated in 24 karat. I think it actually has to be like the solid metal. So. For for me to get these fixed, it's literally like a go back into Chanel situation. And I wonder if they are gonna tell me that they can't fix this because they no longer have these earrings and give me credit for the earrings. I don't want credit for the earrings. I want my freaking favorite earrings ever. Oh God, it's so annoying. It really is. It's literally the most annoying thing ever. I bought these in 2020 in Paris and they were still in Paris from 2019, which is like so lucky anyways. They did come out one other time in red in 2018, I think. And so yeah, now it's 2022. Can I find another one of these? That's gonna be so freaking hard. Here's the deal. This is my thought. Maybe we do a little surgery, you know, until we figure out a better solution so I can still wear them. Because at this point, it's been like literally six months and I'm not wearing them and it's so annoying, right? You can do this with this one. Sometimes I wear it as a little brooch though, like on a little lapel. Look how freaking cute that is. And you just pop it through like a regular earring, right? And then you put the earring back on it and it's like the best little hack for a brooch. You're welcome. Anyways, I want to wear them as earrings. I'm upset. And tragedy has struck again. I know, literally. Like, first of all, Chanel, get it together. Stop freaking making things that break so easily. Ugh. This one is really bad. I recently bought these. I did an unboxing on my Instagram. Actually, it's probably on here as well. I filmed it for YouTube and Instagram. These are my look at Oh, they're so good. They are 1995, the prime of the 90s, 24 karat gold plated, beautiful earrings. They're literally my most perfect earring ever in life, literally ever in life. I'm obsessed in every way, right? Cool, cool. Well, I went to put them on the other day, right? The anger I feel in my heart is aggressive. Look at this, look at this. It's like, I'm not sure if they've broken before and somebody else did this exact same thing. It almost looks like it because I feel like there's a touch of residue here on each side. You can see that it fits back in together perfectly in the back there, but it's like that two little soldered spots, which like, why are they only soldered in two little tiny baby little spots? Why, Chanel, why? Why are they only soldered there? Explain that to me. Now, Gorilla Glue is supposed to specifically be for metal and it's supposed to be like, life-changing and magical and like amazing. You wet it and then you apply the glue and then you clamp it down. And at this point, I just wanna wear my freaking earrings, you know? So like, is it a bit of a risk? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> But you know, I'm feeling a little risky right now and I'm over it. I wanna wear my freaking earrings. So like, here we are, here we are, you and me together on this journey. You're welcome. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> if I screw this up, I won't be laughing. No, no, no. 
<laughs> it won't be funny. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I am particularly handy, right? So I am confident. I don't think I've ever like really messed anything up that I've been handy with. So, you know, hopefully this isn't the first time. <laughs> So this is the deal. You can buy these where it has a little plate. You can see it's a little plate and it's just attached. So I'm thinking this boop boop here, right? Attach the plate, perfectly good to wear. Happy times, right? Happy times for me. If I ever wanted to, you know, resell them or ever wanted to like get them pristine, I can always send them into Chanel. It's literally gonna take four weeks at minimum to get them back. And if they say they can't fix them, I wanna make sure that they can send them back to me and that they don't just keep them and be like, oh, like, no, we can't fix them. Like you have to take a credit because I will literally like, you know, start a war because those are my favorite earrings. <laughs> so on this one, I feel like we can get away with just a little bit of glue right where those two little solder points were and it's going to be hidden enough behind the main circle. That's the vision that we have here today. We have the glue. I guess we'll get a little bit of water and like drip it on. <laughs> I'll try to film an up and close, up and close, that's a word, a close up of what I'm doing with my other phone. So it's a little bit better and we'll just, you know, see how this goes. I'm gonna get water, I'll be back. We are back with water and a little baby paintbrush. Here's the thought, I'm gonna dip the water with the baby paintbrush, brush just the area that I want to glue and then clamp it down. It says you're supposed to clamp it. Listen, I could probably go find clamps. I'm like, that's a lot of effort. Like, is it probably worth it in this situation? Yeah, yeah, it probably is. But listen, I'm thinking just heavy thing on it, you know, <laughs> does the trick. We're in a mood. That's the mood at this point. The only other thing that is kind of particularly going to be interesting is there's not a good way to clamp this at all because it's kind of recessed. And if I clamp in it anyway, it's, yeah, it's just not a good way to do it. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do like a sticky tack or something and then stick it on this. And that way, like the tack puts some weight. That's the idea. That's where we're at right now. Let's just, let's just get stuck into it. Read the little directions. It says clamp it for two hours. Full cure is 24 hours. You can use heavy objects to achieve clamping pressure. <laughs> Ahead of the game already. Cool. I think we do that and then we come back after I sleep because it's like 3 a.m. right now and see how we did. Let's do a bit of this. I'm going to start filming here so you guys can see what I'm doing too. We'll tilt this down just a little bit so we can kind of go back and forth. I think maybe this one will be the easiest because there's like two obvious notches. Let me show you here. And the two notches go directly into the recess holes on the side. So I'm thinking a little bit of water, a little bit of glue, a little bit of prayer, you know? We have a little bit of water. I'm just gonna boop de boop the water right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're happy with that. Cool. We take this. <laughs> Is anyone else nervous? Just me. <sighs> okay, this could be not a good idea. Whoop. I think we'll just dab just the tiniest little boop. Oh god, oh god, too much. Ooh, little tiny baby bit. Ooh, too much, too much, too much. How much is too much? How much is too little? These are the questions. Is there an up and down? Okay, and then I think we just, oh God. Snap her into place. I think that's a firm grip. Is it? Is it a firm grip or is it not fully in? We learned something. The thing we learned is I had it in backwards. So that's good to know. I think we have time to do it just one more time. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. We dampened it, mm -hmm. okay. Was it this way? And then a little tiny bit of this. Uh-huh, that's a good amount. Here we go, here we go. Ooh, is that too much? Ooh, I don't know. And then straight in. for the win. Okay, now large object to set on top of it. I grabbed this, I feel like I regret that. Maybe we do a little something on it first, or do I just hold it like this for two hours? <laughs> kind of debating that. Maybe we put a little glove on it, okay? Little glove, and then this on top. There, surely, right? Look, that has to be good. That has to be good, it has to be good. <laughs> We're gonna leave that one there. Oh God, oh God, oh God, okay. 
<laughs> I'm not nervous laughing. No, this is fine. Now this does like expand a, a touch. That's like how Gorilla Glue works. So I think you need to push it together. I'm, I'm like walking this through in my head. I'm thinking like, mm, cause this needs to be pressed in that without it. So it doesn't expand away. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So I need to get crafty about how I'm gonna hold this little thing down. I do like the idea of thumbtack. That is a good idea, but like, do I have something else? Maybe like a candle. This could stick into the candle, but then when I take it off, like, will it pull it off? All right, all right, all right. Think, think, think. I am MacGyver. Mm, I'll be back. I'm back. New plan. This is the thought. I have two pieces of foam here, right? We press the stick down into the foam, right? Earring on top of foam, then another piece of foam. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I set this down, heavy object on top, but it has to stay because this is now touching the floor, but it's in a straight position. I like it. We're gonna hope for the best. Let's just do it. Let's just wing it, you know? Let's just wing it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> it's totally fine. Oop, a little bit of this, a little bit of water there. Ooh, perfect dollop. Look at me. Heck yeah. Dollop, right? Ooh, don't leave. No, no, no. Where's the foam? Come back to me. Foam, stay there. Yeah, perfection. Okay, now a little bit. Good amount of the glue. Enough to reach the edges, not enough to seep out. That's the ratio we're going for. I'm worried about this one. A lot seeped out. I don't know how to hold this down. It's so easy to move. Do I just plier it and then hold it for like at least, you know, 30 minutes or something? I wonder if I should have done a little like super glue with it just to like hold it in place, you know? Well, welcome to me holding this here for the next two hours. <laughs> Maybe if we can get tacky enough to stay, then I can put something heavy on it, you know? a lot of pressure with my nail. At least it's not sliding around anymore. Okay, we have it on. It's already a little tacky, so I think that helps. And I still don't know about this idea, but I don't have a better one. This is the only thing I can think of. It's just directly down. Like, don't mess with it, just directly down. All right, we're gonna come back in two hours and check on them and hope for the best. <laughs> Okay, y'all, it's the next morning because I filmed that literally at like 3 a.m. Moment of truth. I literally just woke up and like all I can do is come straight here and worry that I ruined it. So let's check this one first. This is, oh, I never put the cap on this. That's good. Let's just close that. This is the correct one. This is the other one. It's been about six hours. Looks pretty good. I don't know that I really want to do it yet. Looks good. Look at that. And it's not falling off. Oh my God. Oh my God, we killed it. We killed it. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, now for this one. Oh my God. I am like literally so worried about this one. I feel like it's moved. I just couldn't figure out another freaking way to do this. That was like better. Ready? It didn't move on the seal, which is the only thing I was really worried about. The foam is stuck to where the glue leaked out a little bit, but that's okay. That's all right. That's no big deal. Like a freaking charm. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, and it didn't slide on the, like the, the uh, Chanel seal, like I didn't want to cover that up, like mess it up. Wow, that looks epic. That looks so good. And yeah, it holds. I'm not gonna do that for too long because <laughs> I want it to like fully set. It's supposed to take 24 hours, but heck yes. Oh my God. Oh, this is so exciting. I have a working earring. Yes. Ah. Best news ever. We're gonna leave those on this little foam sitting upright to cure the rest of the 24 hours. But that was a win. Bit of Gorilla Grew, bit of water, bit of cockiness, and you can fix your own Chanel jewelry. <laughs> I literally woke up literally like 15 seconds ago. I woke straight up and I was like, <gasps> must check earrings. Oh my God. Yeah, hey guys. Heck yeah. High five everyone. We made it. If you made it to the end of this video, pretty please do a little tool emoji.
emoji. And I will see you guys in the next one. While you're down there making that comment, do pretty please like this video. Like I said in the beginning, it very much helps out a brand new channel like mine. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.